everybody, my name is Sophie and I'm from Gradcracker. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to Gradcracker, who we are, what we do, how you can use the website, um, as well as some of the features that we've built for you um, and some hints and tips and the career guidance you can get through the website as well, um, all to help you find and secure that, grad, um, that graduate role. So I'm going to dive straight in. Um, if you don't already know Gradcracker and you aren't really familiar with who we are, we are the UK's careers website for science, technology, engineering and math students. So you'll only find vacancies on the site relating to those disciplines. And we work with hundreds of employers every year from really, really large multinational organisations down to very small companies who might only recruit maybe one or two graduates every year. So there's a massive range of different types of employers, not just in size, but also in the industries that they work in. Um, so you can find every single industry you could possibly think of on Gradcracker. And the benefit for you guys is that we have more employers and more opportunities on the website than any other website in the UK um, focused towards graduates and, and undergraduates. So there's so many different vacancies for you to, guys to search through. And what I want to do today is take you through the site um, so you can really understand how everything works. And I'm going to kind of pass on a few hints and tips as well. The reason I can do this is because I um, look after a lot of the employers who actually advertise on Gradcracker. So people like PepsiCo, CERN, Toyota, people like that. Um, every year I work really closely with them to help them put together their advertising campaigns and um, understand what they're looking for in student applications. And um, so I'll hopefully pass on a few little hints and tips um, to you guys today. Now, there is so much that I could tell you about Gradcracker and how the graduate recruitment marketplace works. Um, but I don't have a huge amount of time in this video, so there's an, an area of the website which I'm going to show you, which will be able to give you lots and lots of guidance um, around all of that as well. We're often also doing presentations um, directly with different universities, so you never know, we may well be on your campus either virtually or in person. So straight away, I'm just going to go straight on to the website and we can start having a look around how all of that works. So. As soon as we drop onto the site, we are presented with um, the number of opportunities and, and, and employers that we have live right now. Now, I am registered as a computing and technology student, which is why it's highlighted straight away on that discipline. But you can have a look at all the different disciplines um, by scrolling over here. The other thing that I would always recommend to um, regular users of Gradcracker, and you do need to be a regular user of Gradcracker to make the me most of the website and, and everything that we offer. Um, is our latest scroll bar at the top here. So this is always going to show you the latest things that are happening on the site, you know, new features that we've created, new employers that we're working with, new vacancies that have been added. It's a great way to kind of just keep up to date with everything that's going on on the site, because all year round, there's always new things being added. We're getting new vacancies every single day. We're getting new employers um, every single week. Um, so make sure you are on top of that. Also, as you scroll down the home page, we highlight different um, employers. We talk to you about our latest webinar. So every year between September and May, we are running a weekly webinar with one of our employers, which are just fantastic to get a really good insight into that particular company. And um, we'll talk to recruiters and we'll talk to um, students and graduates at the organisation. I'm going to show you that area a little bit later on as well. And at the bottom, we show you the latest work placements and graduate jobs who, that have recently been added. So this could have been added this morning, could have been yesterday, but these are all the most recent vacancies. So have a quick scan down the homepage, make sure you know what's been going on, if there's anything that you've missed. Um, another way to do that is to get registered on Gradcracker, and there's loads of reasons to get registered on Gradcracker, one of them being that you will be updated every Thursday with the latest opportunities. Um, but there's lots of other things I'm going to show you um, about what, how your registration can help you as we go through this, this video. I'm going to go into our science and math search um, and have a look at the search um, results within here. Now, Every search on Gradcracker has a number of additional searches underneath it. So whether you are looking in mechanical, electrical, civil, aerospace, and um, we all we give you a number of different searches underneath that if you want to look at things in, in a lot more detail, if there's a really particular discipline that you want to focus on. So you can see under science and maths, for example, we've got biomedical, maths, physics, and um, chemistry all within this particular search. And you can narrow it down to whichever one of those that you are, are really, really interested in. 
We can also just focus this search to our graduate jobs, which we will do um, today. This then brings up all the companies who are currently recruiting from a science and math background for a graduate scheme. So that could be a two year graduate program, it could be an entry level role, it could be with a huge organisation or it could be with a small company as I kind of touched upon at the beginning. Now, what I want to show you in this search is just how wanted your skills are um, as a STEM student. So this is applicable to any search you'll go on to on GradCracker that there's so many employers that want your skills and so many industries that want your skills that you might not have considered. So I'm just gonna have a quick scroll down this particular search just to show you how, how many different types of companies and different sectors want you. So starting at the top, we've got PwC, who are a professional services firm and predominantly working within the finance kind of world, like auditing and um, accountancy type stuff. Um, then we have the Royal Navy, who we all know, teaching so um obviously get becoming a teacher with your stem degree is really really valuable ba systems um are a defense and aerospace company arm um, electronics you know work a lot of their um, products are actually in iphones and things like that so they're a really cool company really at the cutting edge of tech and um, siemens I mean, you'll probably have heard of Siemens, but I'm, I'm sure if you went onto their company hub, which is where we're gonna go next and, and looked around it, you'd be amazed by the different types of sectors and industries that Siemens work in. I mean, they have their fingers in so many different pies. Um, and then we have Leonardo who predominantly in the UK manufacture helicopters. Um, and then Germany is a data, um, data analytics consultancy. They, they work with companies to, to harness the power of their data really. So that's just one scroll of the science and math search on GradCracker and you can see how many different employers are looking for your skills and probably different industries that you wouldn't have considered and probably roles when you see the job title that you think oh I wouldn't have thought that they'd actually want a science or a maths background for but so many employers are very very open to the type of degree um, disciplines they actually recruit. So I just wanted to make that clear as we were going through the search. What I want to go into now is having a look at a particular vacancy. I'm going to go down to um, have a look at ARM, for example. So we're going to jump into that particular vacancy. And this area is probably one of the most important areas that you're going to look at on GradCracker when you are searching for that all important graduate role. The job description isn't just there to, just to tell you, you know, what the job's about. It's also telling you what you need to know and how to put in a good application to that employer. The opportunity overview on the right hand side is um, also a really good place to start to, to understand if you're relevant for or you're right for this vacancy. So um, they'll tell you the type of grades that you need, where the um, opportunity is going to be located. Although one thing that I would say about location, especially when you're looking at graduate jobs, is that a lot of graduate schemes can be rotational. So you might start in Cambridge, for example, with ARM, but then they might have offices across the UK and you might rotate around those different locations. Um, so do be quite open to location when you are looking for your, for your graduate role. And also remember that a lot of the employers that you'll see on GradCracker may well be multinational. So they might have offices across the UK, but also internationally and might expect you at some point in your career to be able to be flexible on those, those locations and, and um, travel around different areas. So do be, do be mindful of that. And employers do like to see flexibility. Then we show you like the disciplines that are accepted and then the job requirements. So, you know, what do you need to be able to apply? This is a very, very um, important area of the um, job description and every job description will have something similar. It might be called requirements, qualifications, what you'll need, uh, what we're looking for. Every employer might word it slightly differently, but this is kind of what you need to, to have to be able to apply to the vacancy and be able to showcase either if it's an online application or in a covering letter if you're applying by CV. So just picking out a few things, you need to have um, a computer science degree or experience of Linux administration. And then they're also asking for knowledge of some other technologies. Now, if you have these and you've done those either as part of your degree or outside of your degree, great, make sure that you pop those on the application. And then they also mentioned things about like softer skills. And um, this is what we call things like communication skills and team working skills when they ask for those as part of the job description as well. Um, so make sure you have a look at this particular area and really understand what is required of you before you put the application in. 
we've actually got some information on Gradcracker about how to really utilize and understand a job description as well, which I'll show you um, when we go and have a look at that area in a little bit. Um, obviously, they, they often tell you about the, the benefits of working for them. But then what I want you to do before you even go anywhere kind of close to clicking that apply online button, I know it's going to kind of drag you there, um, is to really understand the employer and to really be able to do your research. And this is why we've created Gradcracker in the way that we have, that every employer on the website has one of these company hubs so you can really get to know them. So um, everyone will have kind of a bit of an overview um, some key facts about them, video content if, if that's available. And you can see with the Arm Hub, they've got pages on their culture, for example, um, people who work for them, videos are available for you to watch to really understand whether the um, organisation is right for you. Now, you might have looked at the job and thought, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly um, the sort of thing I want to be doing. But when you've actually invested it, investigated the employer, you might think, oh, that's not quite right for me, not quite the right sector or what have you. So that's why the company hubs are so important. So really do understand the employer and understand what you're applying to before you go through to that application process. And also by doing so, you're going to be able to give them really good examples about why you want to work for them. And this is the sort of thing that employers really want to see um, when they are reading through applications. So keep that in mind all the time of how you can impress the employer by telling them that you really understand what the job requirements are and you really understand what the organisation's about. They love it if you can reference their culture or their values or their mission statement um, and how that kind of re represents you and, and you can kind of be affiliated with that when you do put the um, application through. So the company hub is really, really important and then obviously the job itself. Now, we have built quite a lot of features within, into the company hub to keep you organised and to help you throughout your kind of job hunting journey. Now, depending on what time of year you're looking at different vacancies, they might be temporarily closed um, or they might be opening in the next few weeks. And you don't want to miss out on an opportunity if you are really keen on that employer. And this is where our follow feature comes into play. So if you follow Arm, for example, or any employer on Gradcracker, you can follow anyone that you see. Um, then any time they add a new vacancy, you will be the first person to know about that. We send out those alerts on the day that their vacancies go live. Um, so by following an employer, you'll make sure you're up to date with the latest opportunities. We also have an app. Um, so if you are using our app and you're registered on Gradcrack, you'll also get these alerts direct to your phone as well as a reminder. Now, when you're actually then starting to go through the recruitment process and starting to think about applying to companies, one of the really useful features that we've built is our save to shortlist. So I've just saved this particular role um, to my shortlist. Um, I'm going to now follow arm as well. And then I'm going to show you my shortlist in my dashboard. So this is the area that you get if you register on Gradcracker. And it houses like all of these organizational tools and features that we've built. So if we go into the shortlist, you can see that I've got quite a number of jobs saved in here. Now, the benefit of this shortlist is that if this job comes down from Gradcracker and it comes down from the ARM website and you haven't saved that job anywhere, then you've got nothing to refer back to when you start going through the recruitment process and telephone interviews and things like that. By saving it to the shortlist, that job description will always be here for you to be able to refer back to. And um, so it's a really, really useful feature. Also, we know that you're going to be applying to multiple vacancies for graduate and um, for graduate jobs. So we've also given you the opportunity to track where you are with each one. And um, if you've got to assessment centre interview and then fingers crossed at the end when you've got your offer. Um, but you can also see that on an overview page here. So you can see where you are with each one if you just look down there. So it's a really, really useful feature. Um, also within here, within the dashboard area, when you've registered, we show you new employers that are recruiting from your degree discipline. Um, so it's a really useful area to just, again, to get a bit of a catch of, of what's been happening on the site. We can also see which webinars you've been re you've registered for and yeah, just generally keep on top of everything that you are doing on Gradcracker. So that's kind of a, a bit of a whistle stop through, you know, going from the homepage, finding a vacancy and then utilising some of the features. I'm quickly going to show you another way that you can find um, employers and jobs though. So if they aren't open, they obviously won't appear in the search because there's no vacancies there to apply to. But if you go on our A to Z, you can search by um, different employers that way. 
And we also have a sector search. So if you're really keen on working in the chemicals industry, you can go and find out more about the employers that we have that operate in that industry and look at them, even if they're temporarily closed to applications. So this is a great place to start doing some research as well. If you're not quite ready to apply, but you're doing your research, getting prepped, making a bit of a shortlist of companies that you want to apply to. And then we're going to have a look at the career centre. So this is a really, really important area of the site. And this is where a lot of the stuff that I've touched upon throughout this video um, is housed. So webinars, I cannot stress enough how useful these webinars are. Um, we have done some with some amazing companies so far. So Atkins, CERN, BT, um, GSK, INEOS, um, all of these incredible organisations, um, Mercedes F1, um, to really understand their recruitment processes and what it's like to be a student and graduate at the company. So you can go back and re-watch all of these um, um, webinars that we've done, and then you can register for future um, webinars as well. So have a look down that list, see if there's anybody that you really want to know more about, and then make sure you do attend those webinars. Um, but really, a lot of these, a lot of the guidance that you get from the students and graduates in those webinars is applicable to kind of any industry and any employer as well. But it's really, really um, useful way to kind of really get to know the employer. Another area that I'm going to touch upon is the Grad Cracker Toolkit. So this is the careers manual that we create every year. So it's available um, as an ebook on the website. And in here, you can go and look and explore different sectors if you're not sure whether you, where you want to work and really get to know um, the employers that operate in those industries and um, you know, what sort of work you'd be doing in that sector. Now, the final one that I'm going to look at um, in here is our career coach. So this is where all of this information that I've kind of been running through about hints and tips about applications and um, CV and covering letters and, and that sort of thing is all kind of housed within here. And so much of it has come direct from um, employers that advertise on Gradcracker. So the people that are actually going to be doing the recruiting. So you can see here about um, different employers talking about hints and tips for CVs. Again, what you'll find is a lot of these um, tips are applicable across so many different employers and different industries. So even if you don't particularly want to work for one of these employers, reading their, their hints and tips will be really useful for um, applying to other vacancies too. Now, what my colleague Hannah has done is also created a bit of a summary of all this guidance for you and created a book, um, an ebook, which you can see on the website called How to Become an Alpha Candidate. And this kind of brings a lot of this um, information together where you can read and find out more about the different um, hints and tips that employers are putting together. Um, so it's a great place to have a look um, there as well. Now, what Hannah has also done has written a number of different blogs, and I mentioned these earlier, about how to use Grad Cracker to the best of your um, best of your ability. So reading the company hubs properly, utilizing information in the job description, why to reference our webinars, for example, in, in applications, why becoming part of a STEM society uh, will enhance your application as well. So there's lots of that information on the left-hand side. It really is a really useful area um, for you guys to, to use the career coach section. And then we've also got um, super sector podcasts. Um, so these are three or four minutes to get to know different industry sectors as well. Um, you can probably tell now by looking around Grad Cracker that we are quite sector focused. And I think that's because of what I was saying when we were looking at um, the job search, that there are so many industries out there that want a STEM degree background. And um, as students, you might not always be aware of that breadth of opportunity. So we want to give you lots and lots of different ways to find out about that. So that is a really quick tour through Grad Cracker. As I said, I, I could talk to you for, for hours about all of this and, and, and there's so much information out there. Um, but that's why we've created sections like the Career Centre where you can get that information for yourselves. Um, so before you go, make sure you do get registered on Grad Cracker, get yourself set up so you can receive um, our newsletters and our alerts um, and you can start following and saving to shortlist and keeping yourself organised throughout that recruitment process. And don't forget to download the app as well. And best of luck for all of your applications. Thank you.